Man has launched hundreds of drones and possibly, I repeat, possibly an unknown number of cruise missiles at the nation of Israel. The first report of the attacks came in about two to three hours ago. According to ABC News, United States officials believe Iran will also be launching upwards of 500 drones and missiles, possibly from Yemen, Iraq, Lebanon and Syria. Some of the drones were expected to take up to two hours or more to reach Israeli airspace and are believed to be destined for military targets. The attack comes after the Iranian supreme leader said he would punish Israel for attacking the Iranian consulate in Syria earlier this month. A number of senior members of the Iranian military were killed in that attack. Now, according to reports, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has stated the Jewish state is ready for a direct attack and pledged a strong response. President Joe Biden returned to the White House earlier today from his beach house in Delaware to address the situation, reaffirming U.S. support for Israel's defense against Iranian threats. Now, Reuters is reporting U.S. military has shot down at least one Iranian drone that was heading for Israel. And in the last 20 minutes, the Times of Israel reports that Jordanian jets have shot down dozens of Iranian drones. We're also hearing that the Iranian defense minister says his country will strongly retaliate against any nation that allows its airspace or territory to be used for an attack on Iran by Israel. And right now, you may be wondering, what should I do what can I do? Let's hear from the pastors of Eagle Mountain International Church, George and Terry Pearsons. Pastors, this is a troublesome and, and really vexing time. You and your congregation have consistently shown support for Israel based on what the Bible says. Help us understand how and why believers in Jesus Christ should be focused and praying at this moment. Yeah, thank you, Mike. We're so glad we can join you for this time. In a few moments, we're going to be praying over this, but we're looking at this in a little bit different light. We are in the middle of prophetic times. The end times are here. Welcome. Yeah, <laughs> it's really the truth. And so on one hand, we don't make light of the seriousness of the hour right. because people and their lives and the land and so much is going on. Uh, and, and this is only a part of an ongoing cascade of troublesome things that will continue to unfold. Jesus said that it would happen that way. But on the other hand, we can't help but say, grab your Bible That's and right. a box of spiritual <laughs> popcorn because, brother, we're, the show has begun. Right. Now, whether or not what we're seeing today is a direct uh, connection to further prophecy, Ezekiel 38 and 39, other things coming together as Jesus said that they would, along with other prophecies, of course, throughout both Old and New Testament. Whether or not that means things will unfold tomorrow, next week, in a few months, in a few years, we do know that what's happening right now is moving us forward. Time doesn't just move along based on the day and the hour, but it also moves along based on events. Events tend to <coughs> catapult up right. to the next event. So we're very excited in that sense because in all of this, it's God... God is doing all this time and again. He says these things, will, they have to happen, but it will be so that the nations will know. Right. Talk about a wake-up call for everybody. That's what this is all about. Yeah, and it's so good that we can come together because we have friends that we've worked with for many years in Israel that we've been standing with. Of course, Kenneth Copeland Ministries, the Victory Channel, Eagle Mountain International Church. We stand for Israel. We stand with Israel 100%. And as we come together today in, in faith, uh, looking at this, it says in Matthew 18, 19, again, I say unto you that any two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask. It shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. And so we're believing with our friends right now who are there, standing with them, but also seeing from that high perspective of what God is doing. He is mighty in battle. <laughs> he is. I tell you, we wouldn't want to be on the other side right now. Now, many of you have heard us talk about Zev Ornstein. He is our close friend but also our partner in that he is the spokesperson for the city of David. And we have worked with Zev over these last several years and become very fast friends. He's spoken in our church, ministered to us, and we're so thankful 
for for him. He gives us great insight along the way. I just love listening to his his insight. But he said something to me a, a, uh, about an hour or so ago, and I, I just think that you would want to hear this. It says, Shalom, my friend. Hashem, that means, that's God's name. Uh, it's Hebrew. It means uh, the name. And so speaking about the Lord, Hashem is definitely moving the pieces around on his chessboard upstairs. <laughs> we may wake up to a very different world, though I don't think we will be sleeping tonight. On that night, this is from Esther chapter 6, verse 1. On that night, the king could not sleep, and he gave orders to bring the book of memorable deeds, the chronicles, and they were read before the king. <laughs> Jewish tradition teaches that any time in the book of Esther the word king appears, it's referring to God. So on this night, just as on that night in the book of Esther, the guardian of Israel will neither, neither sleep nor slumber. And I love this, this verse. It says, He gave orders to bring the book of memorable deeds. Bring it before the king. And that's what we're doing. We are yes. bringing the yes. word of God before the king. God said, call me into remembrance. Not that he forgot, not that he's losing his memory, but he says, call his word to remembrance, meaning for us to remember. It's a covenant call to remember his word together with him because what he says we say, and we say, Israel will prevail. That's right. We say, the That's nations right. will see that there is a God in Israel, the yes. God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that God. And it will be the wake-up call that the world, uh, the, the, a series of wake-up right. calls has begun for them to recognize the power of the Almighty God and His covenant, covenant with Israel, His covenant with the church, and he's a covenant keeping God. And God calls Israel my people. Those are my people, he says. And what about the people that are around them? What about Iran? What about all these nations that are set against them? Well, the Bible is clear in Isaiah 40, verse 15 through 17. Behold, the nations are like a drop from a bucket and are counted as small dust on the scales. Behold, he takes up the islands like a little thing. And all Lebanon's forests cannot supply sufficient fuel, nor its wild beasts furnish victims enough to burn sacrifices worthy of the Lord. All the nations are as nothing before him. They are regarded by him as less than nothing and emptiness. So that includes all the nations that are protesting Israel and all That's the right. nations that are standing against Israel. This is a wake up call for them. They better wake up or they will experience the judgment of God. You may want to look at Ezekiel 38 and 39 and it doesn't take a whole lot of research to just search on the internet the ancient names and see where they are now. And you'll see that they are the names of the players that are involved, which is primarily Iran, Turkey, Israel, uh, excuse me, uh, Iran, Iran, Turkey, and Russia. Get it right, Terry. And those are the main countries that you'll see involved others, of course, as well. And it even speaks of other countries like Jordan that are involved, but as as not real players. They're the ones that are saying, hmm, Iran, what are you doing? Hmm, but they don't really step in. Yeah. And that's because God is making room for him to step in. Right. And even as we pray right now for Israel, we pray for our friends, we yes. lift up our the friends and who all the, uh, they represent, what they represent to us, then know this, that that same God who does not sleep nor slumber, his eye is on Israel. His eye is on you. His eye is on America. And we stand in faith because the probability that times are unfolding for this nation as well is very high. Let me read this from the 91st Psalm. And then if you'd go ahead and begin to pray and we'll be in okay. agreement together. And this is what we're standing on. We're standing on for the state of Israel, for our friends who are there, and for all of us together in Psalm 91. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver Israel from the snare of the fowler and from the noise and pestilence. 
and he'll cover Israel with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be their shield and buckler. The Hebrew says a circle of protection. They shall not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day. So we stand in agreement <laughs> wow. together that over that right now. Tonight. That does. It really does. That's a picture of what's happening in Israel right now. Uh, conflicting information, conflicting reports, but we know that there are, are hundreds, maybe even thousands of drones that are coming in, and rockets also still being fired from countries around Israel. But uh, glory to God, glory to God, and watch what God does. There shall no evil before, evil before them, neither shall any plague come near their dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over them to keep them in all their ways. They shall bear them up in their hands, lest they dash their foot against a stone. Amen. So let's pray. Thank you. And as Lord. I call out these names, these are the names of the people you may recognize. Most Thank of them you, have been in our church at one time or another. Lord, and so I'll pray as them, but all the people they represent and the areas because they're in all different parts of Israel. Father, in the Thank name you, of the Jesus. Lord Jesus, Praise we pray. You. We pray together corporately as a church, as a body of believers. Lord, we are, we are the victory channel. Thank you, Jesus. We, this victory. is the victory that overcomes right. the world, even, even our, our faith. faith. Thank you, this Lord. is the victory that overcomes Thank the enemies of God. This is the victory you, that overcomes Israel's Thank enemy. You, this is the victory that overcomes even our faith, yes. our faith in you, our faith in your faithfulness, Thanks, our faith in, in your word, Thank you, our Jesus. faith in the covenant, and we are thrilled, Lord, you, to stand Lord. before oh, you in Lord. faith, Lord. knowing that our God Lord. has got this, yes, and that you, our Jesus. faith in you, knowing you Praise are faithful, God. and you are watching yes, over are. them. Yes, Lord, we are. pray for the people of Israel, that their peace of mind, oh, and Lord. that their hearts Lord. be Lord. secure, Lord. and that they, they, they have a, a, an arising Lord. of confidence and the awakening within them, Praise Lord, that, that they can know and trust Thank you, you for asking for a supernatural blanket of peace. Yes. over the whole yes. nation, Thank you, Lord, Lord, as you do battle for them. Thank you, Jesus. We're so thankful for that. <laughs> Lord, we pray over Zeb and his family. We pray, Thank Lord, you. over Sam and over Shmulek and over you, their Lord. families. We pray over the city of David. We pray over Jerusalem. Thank we pray you, over Tel Aviv. We pray, yes. Lord, over Ronnie, our friend Ronnie, and those that are in Thank uniform you, and, and protecting other areas around the country Praise. of Israel. Praise. We pray for Yossi. We pray for the, the Wallers. We pray for Jeremy Gimpel. We yes. pray for those all through Judea and Samaria. <laughs> Thank and Lord, you, Lord. Those that have have stepped Thank out you, and Father. said, we will do what the Lord our God has commanded Praise us. God. He said, inhabit the mountains of Israel, and we will, Praise and they have. Thank you, Father, Praise that they God. have the protection of the Holy One of Israel Thank is you, watching Jesus. over them to keep them Praise as God. they look to you and they trust That's you. That's right. Lord, we pray over the command. You, we pray Jesus. over the prime minister. Mm. We pray over the cabinet. We pray over the military. We pray over every general and Thank captain. You, we pray over uh, the, the Air Force. We pray over the United States That's right. and Great That's Britain right. and all of those, France right. and all of those who are we participating stand. in this. We stand. We stand. Thank you, Father. And we, we ask you we to to bless those that have come Thank alongside you, Israel in all this and that your mercy be upon our nations Praise as God. this dark enemy raises its head like never before. Thank you. Thank you, Father, for the power of angels, the power of your Praise word, God. the power of your name, Thank you. the power of the covenant, Lord, to do yes. what only you can do. We are so thankful, Lord, that we Thank can you, trust Father. you. We look Thank to you, you and we have expectation of the miraculous, Woo. expectation you, of demonstration you, of our covenant-making, covenant-keeping God. Praise we God. love you, Lord. Thank and we're you, excited. We say, go, God, go, Praise Hashem, God. go, Thank go, you, go. Do what it is Thank only you, you can do. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Bless the Lord. Praise God. Amen and amen. 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 If this room was big enough, I'd run around it. But we keep praying. Yeah. Those of you that, that do pray in the Holy Spirit, and tomorrow praying morning, in faith. Remember, and don't forget about church. That's right. Being a part with us there. We're going to be dealing with some, tomorrow morning at church, 10 o'clock Central Time, Eagle Mountain International Church on the Victory Channel. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Mike.
Terry, thank you so much. We needed that. Victory News will monitor the situation and bring you updates as warranted. Be sure to join us tomorrow morning, 11 a.m. Eastern, 10 Central, as Pastor George just said. Thank you. This is Mike Garofalo on the Victory News. You're watching the Victory Channel. Jesus is Lord.